America raising the stakes on the Korean Peninsula. The U.S. military putting parts of its controversial THAAD anti-missile system into place in the early hours of Wednesday. A defensive measure designed to shoot down rockets from North Korea if Pyongyang were to launch an attack. That move has come earlier than many expected and promptly sparked protests near the site where THAAD will be based. Angry South Koreans hurling water bottles at military trailers carrying its various parts. Protesters say more than 10 people have been injured in clashes with authorities, some with bone fractures. That has also been condemned by the frontrunner in South Korea's upcoming presidential election, Moon Jae-in. He wants its deployment to be suspended until the next administration's in power. Wednesday's move is also guaranteed to anger China, which has long opposed the missile system ever being put in place. The THAAD rollout is yet another step in a volatile back and forth between the U.S. and North Korea in recent weeks. Washington has sent an aircraft carrier group and a nuclear sub designed to carry Tomahawk cruise missiles to the region, while Pyongyang has repeatedly held major weapons tests in defiance of U.N. sanctions. Donald Trump has vowed to prevent the North from being able to hit America with a nuclear missile and says all options are on the table. In an extremely rare move, he's called the entire U.S. Senate for a briefing at the White House on Wednesday, where American defense chiefs will discuss North Korea before heading to the House of Representatives to brief the rest of Congress.